Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with card number 11 in the 12 Cards of Christmas 2020 series. As always, you can find all the measurements and the instructions in the cutting guide in the link in the description under the video. Just go ahead, click the link, download the guide, pre-cut all your pieces that you need to make the card, and then come on over and follow along with me in the video to make the card. So today we are making a theater card, a really cool card. And we have four bases. They're all same size, six by four and a quarter. And we're going to take one of those bases and score it at one and a half and three inches. So score it at one and a half and then slide it along to three inches and score it again. Next, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other six and four and a quarter piece. Again, score it at one and a half and three. So we scored both the first two bases the same way and now we're going to fold on the score lines that we did on the same direction. So you're going to get a little or a big L like this. Then we're going to do the exact same thing on the other one. Fold along the score lines and you get two big L's like this. So these big L's are going to go like this and create sort of a screen that opens and closes. This is the mechanism of the theater card. So next I'm going to cover the front of the mechanism with my cover papers. Again, you have all the measurements and the instructions in the cutting guide that you can download from the link in the description under the video. So go ahead, click the link and download that guide so you can pre-cut all the pieces, the cover papers, and be ready to make the card. So I'm covering the front here with two cover papers. And then I'm going to take the third piece and basically what I'm going to do is cut a window. So the way I'm going to do that is align the left edge with one inch and cut from the edge all the way down to three and a quarter. So from one inch to three and a quarter while the paper is aligned with one inch on the left and then you turn it 90 degrees, align it with one inch again and cut from one inch all the way down to meet the cut that you already made. And then you turn it again 90 degrees, align it with one inch and cut from one inch to three and a quarter. And then finally turn it again, align it with one inch and cut from one inch to meet the cut line that you did. So basically what you have is a four by two and a quarter square that you removed from the center of the square, the larger square. So that center square measures four by two and a quarter. So you cut that out all together. And now you have a window. Now we're going to continue. I'm just flipping that so it will show the pattern side. And this is the square that we cut out. So what we're going to do now is attach that square that we removed to the card. But first, we just want to add a few embellishments. and make sure that it looks really nice and festive. So I'm just using some stickers that I 
have. They came with the papers. You can add whatever embellishments that you have as long as they are flat. Don't add 3D embellishments here or something like that. You can use cutouts, cut images from a paper, write something, use stickers, whatever you have in your stash to embellish that little square. So I'm just adding a few stickers here. And then can go ahead and continue with making the card. Okay. Maybe another sticker just to complete the look that I already have here. No. Okay, so let's apply glue on the back side of that little square here. Again, I always like to use liquid glue because it allows me to move the paper a little bit into position. Make sure it's aligned and straight. But you can use whatever glue that you have. So I'm using the frame as a guide to help me align the little square basically in the center of the piece that it in, that is in the back because we're attaching the square to the back side of what is going to be the base of the card, which is the fourth larger square, the base square that we had here. Okay, so now we can go ahead and assemble the card. We have two strips of just plain white paper. And what we're going to do is wrap them around the front of the theater doors, let's call them. So we're wrapping them around like this, making sure that they can move inside the strip. We're just wrapping around, we're not gluing or attaching or anything. Just wrapping them around like this, both edges. And now we're going to attach them to the card. But first, I just want to punch out a little half a circle on both sides of the frame. That will help me move the card when I need to. Okay, so now apply glue to the back side of each of the little tabs that you have on that white strip of paper just thinking which is the best side the green side or the plaid side to attach to the card trying to decide okay so like I said we're going to apply glue to the back side of each of the two tabs that you have on the edges of the white strip so apply a little bit of glue on both sides here and then attach it to the frame to the back side of the frame the side that you don't want to be visible like this in between the edge and that little half circle that you punched out like this have to let it dry for a few seconds because then you will be able to continue now for the doors you apply the glue on the back side of the edge of the door or the curtain or whatever you want to call it that is the part that opens like a curtain in a theater that's why we call it a theater card then you attach that to the card aligning it with the right edge like this and the left side is going to be aligned the left door 
is going to be aligned with the left edge of the card. Only apply glue to the edge of the door, the back side of it. Okay, so this is how it looks when it's closed. And now we're going to bring the frame and complete the card. Just making sure that it's aligned with the edges and that it opens properly. And the glue on the strips have now dried already. So now we can insert each of the door inside the strip like this. Simply insert it gently into the strip. I'm just turning it over. It's going to be easier this way. So the right door is going to go on the right side and the left door is going to go on the left side. And you're going to see in a minute how cool that, that looks. So just straighten that out. Close it. And then you have that little punched out circles that you can pull the doors. Oops, upside down. Pull the doors and then they open like this. Isn't that cool? And then you can go ahead and instead of maybe adding stickers to that center square maybe you can write something in it with your own handwriting or whatever you want to do you can also write on the back side of the card so i'm just adding some embellishments and i'm attaching the sticker to paper because i don't want the back to be sticky because it's going to be a little bit overlapping i'm going to put it on the frame in the front and i don't want the doors to stick to it otherwise they won't open so by attaching it to just a plain piece of white paper I've turned it into a cutout instead of a sticker so this is the tree making sure that there's no glue on the doors just put a little bit of glue on the left side of the tree so only that would stick to the frame and I'm adding a few more stickers to embellish the card, the front of the card, a little banner, you can go ahead and use whatever you have in your stash to decorate the card, looks really festive, let's see what else I can add, this one's too big. I think the card looks nice. Maybe add a little bit here. Maybe a few more. This one's too big too. Maybe a star to snowflake. O2. I really hope you like this card. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. And when you subscribe, you have to click on the little bell icon there to be notified when I upload a new video so you won't miss any of the new videos that I upload. You can find all the 12 Cards of Christmas series in the playlist on my YouTube channel. Then all 12 cards are there so they'll be easier to find. And this card is really cool. I love it. A 3D theater card. I really hope you liked it too and that you're going to make it. Don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much for joining me and I will see you next time.